Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the week of November 14th. We're just going to jump right in here, Aries. And in, in your first uh, current general energies, you have the first quarter moon in Gemini to speak your world into being. And you also have this last quarter moon in Sagittarius. It says practice gratitude. Uh, pretty much all the readings uh, for the month of November had a lot of like manifestation stuff and also practicing gratitude as well came up quite a bit in the November reading. So I do feel it would be a great time to, you know, practice any of those things. You also have the Queen of Wands as well. And the Queen of Wands here in your first position, you know, kind of really represents to me going like really going for something. She is really bold and assertive. She kind of represents needing to be bold and assertive, like really needing to uh, go after something that you desire, really needing to commit to it as well. And uh, look at the end of the reading here. I mean, four of wands. Outside of, like, literally getting married, the four of wands can represent just committing to something. And so what are you committing to? Well, it's actually quite simple. You are committing to the sun. <laughs> you have She has a sunflower in her hand here. You also have the sun showing up in your reading. So I feel like for some of you, this is saying that you need to kind of focus on your true joy and happiness, just like she does at the highest, you know, vibration level of the Queen of Wands. She kind of represents being very positive, really moving towards your desires. And I always say that to me, tarot is like a spectrum. It's like the energy of each card falls somewhere between like the good and bad. That's why I don't read reversals, right? Because I read intuitively and sorry, I was petting my dog. So I'm covered in dog hair, but, um, you know, sometimes you, sometimes you just got to pet your dog, right? <laughs> so there you go. But she uh, really kind of follows her heart and she really, but more importantly, she like desires to do something and she doesn't take no for an answer. You know, I always say she has this black cat in front of her and it represents during the times of tarot that black cats were considered very unlucky, but she doesn't care. She just only cares that she likes the cat. That's it. Uh, the other thing that I would focus on is your own personal fulfillment. Ten, nine of Cups is a card of wishes you know, manifesting a wish, getting something you wish for. But, you know, he is also fulfilled and he is also practicing the energy of, fulfill of fulfillment. So if he wants something like love, for example, he just sits in the energy of love. If he wants uh, money, he just sits in the energy of abundance. Or, you know, if he just wants like abundance of people in his life, he just sits in the ener sits in that energy and he's grateful for it. And that's why he gets it. You have the nine of swords here. I'm getting like, don't let little things get you down. It's like sometimes I think, you know, it's sometimes when things improve in life, you know, like I think things could be improving for you. There might be just little, you know, glimpses of the past, happy little accidents, right? <laughs> Where it's like maybe something small happens and I feel like you need to make sure that those things don't ruin your day. It's like, you know, as a Pisces, I totally get it. I used to like, you know, when my life started improving, like tiny little things that would remind me of, you know, a mistake I made in the past or, you know, whatever would like pop up and I would let it ruin my day or two days or whatever. And I kind of get that feeling on the Nine of Swords. It's kind of weird. I, I just feel like it's saying that there could be like little moments that maybe remind you of like when you didn't have money or, um, you know, when you didn't have love or something like that. And you're it, it's like maybe your brain is kind of jumping to the worst case scenario. And I feel like this Nine of Swords is saying, don't do that. You know, realize that there is a bright side to everything going up to the sun here. So let's see. With the uh, Queen of Cups, sorry, the Queen of Wands, you have this Principal card here. Uh, for what I, I don't know why, I, you know, the only reason I would say here is that I'm shooting this a couple days after the eclipse. And again, we're going to be dealing with that, um, you know, eclipse energy for at least six months. And what I would say here is that, you know, I think this eclipse is bringing out a lot of truth, the astrology in general, there's a lot of truth in the astrology. That doesn't mean that there's going to be truth, by the way, that means there's probably going to be a lot of lies. And then years from now, we're going to discover truth, <laughs> whatever. And, you know, just life. And what I would say here is that, um, you know, I, I would say that as long as you're doing things because, you know, it's your principle, like you have principles, right? And as long as you're following those things, I feel like you're going to be finding a lot of success. Whenever you get lost as well, I think you need to say, you know, does this align with my beliefs? Does this align with my principles? And if you don't have principles, then I think it would be a good time to like come up with some principles. It's kind of weird that, you know, the star comes up a lot. You don't have it here, but you do have the sun, uh, which is close. And, you know, what I would say is that, you know, I think that we need to have kind of like a North Star right now, something that we aim at, something that we can use as the object of our attention, like some sort of purpose. And, you know, I would come up with something. With the Nine of Cups, look, another card with the sun on it. 
right here. <laughs> this card says endurance on it. Endurance is like not giving up. And I feel like you haven't been, you haven't given up. It's like, these are rewards that are coming in for you, Aries. So I feel that you are receiving rewards for, you know, working towards something for a very long period of time. It's like you haven't given up. Uh, um, You know, I feel a little bit tired on that Nine of Swords as well. Mars retrograde. You know, I make sure that you're taking time to rest, relax, recover, uh, you know, do the things that you need to do to take care of yourself, all that other good stuff. With the Nine of Swords, you have this Restlessness card. There you go. Again, these are those restless moments, like I was saying. Uh, I knew that's exactly, you know, kind of the, where this energy was going. Is It's like those little moments that pop their ugly little head up, right, that ruin your day. So, again, don't allow, like, little tiny things to ruin your day based off of past experiences. It's like, you know, again, I think you could be... Maybe you just have like a down day at work and you're like, oh my God, I'm going to lose all my money. You know, I feel like this is saying don't jump to the negative conclusion, right? Don't jump to catastrophizing something that doesn't need to be catastrophized, right? Um, and I think as long as you focus on the sun, happiness, joy, good things, then good things will happen. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have this to toadstool card. It says growth and you also have this pure spirit. It says purification. So I feel for a lot of you, that there could be growth coming in for you because of your patience, but it's like you're not seeing seeing it yet. It's kind of giving me like all of a sudden, you know, type vibes. It's like you're building up a bunch of water behind a dam, and I feel like the dam is about to break, but you have to keep going is what this row is saying. So, you know, I feel this is saying it's definitely not time to give up. Um, I think you're going to start seeing leaks in the dam soon, which is good. You know what I mean? I mean this in the, this is probably a terrible analogy, Aries, because <laughs> it sounds bad, but it's it's good. Trust me. Um, you know, I think that you're starting to see leaks as in improvements in work or business. I'm, for some reason, I'm getting uh, finance, finances here. So even if you're retired, it doesn't matter. You could still be improving your finances in some way, right? And I feel like you're starting to see the cracks of how you can do it. But these are positive. Th this is positive. This is not a bad thing, right? And again, I feel like eventually the dam is going to break and it's like you're opening the floodgates. I feel there's like a lot of success. I feel like I've said this to you before. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look after I'm done doing this reading, but I'm pretty sure I titled one of your readings like over the past two months or so, something about opening the floodgates. And I get, I just, you're the only sign where I truly feel that, that feeling of kind of just like that release of energy. But it's like, but here's the other thing as well, is it's like, this has not come easy. You know, I feel like this is something that you've been working towards for a very long period of time. So the, the like this breakthrough type energy that you're having, I think is the result of like years and years and years and years of practice and preparation and work, whatever it is, we're gonna have to find out. You have the uh, strength card, the four of swords and the two of swords. Again, I feel you've been very patient. The strength card is like, I feel like whenever these things happen in life, by the way, of course, people are like, how did they do that? <laughs> so don't be surprised if people in your life are surprised by what you have accomplished. I always say that she has her hands in a lion's mouth and it's like who in the right mind would stick their hands in a lion's mouth? The answer is nobody. So, you know, it, it kind of is an energy, the strength card of showing off. And I feel for a lot of you, you could, this could be like a little bit of a show off energy, but in a good way. And again, just realize that people might think that you got there easily, but you didn't. So maybe people aren't understanding your story and that's fine. You have the four swords, make sure to take breaks. Again, I feel tired in your reading. I haven't really been tired today. Um, and you know, so, I, so again, I feel like this is you. And if you need a rest, re relaxation, a break, take a break, right? You know, take some time for yourself. You know, especially depending on your astrology, you know, Mars could be retrograde in your second house, for example. It's not, that's obviously not going to be true for all of you. But um, if it is, then, you know, if you need a break in work, in your business or whatever, I would take those breaks. Uh, you have the Two of Swords here. You also have the Ace of Swords. There's like some sort of victory and a decision being made, I feel. Um, I don't really usually feel this way about the Two of Swords, but uh, I feel like you're going this way here up to the Four of Wands. So we have the Two of Swords, Ace of Swords, the four wands. I'm almost seeing the, like, I almost feel like you're over here. <laughs> uh, I feel like you are picking one of these swords going this way. So it's almost as if you you are making a decision, but it's like, uh, ex I feel like an external person or an external situation is giving you options, but you're picking uh, like something like your own personal victory or something. I don't know. Um, sounds weird, but I'll take it. So there you go. I feel like you're going towards the four of wands. It doesn't have to be marriage, but that could be marriage. Could also just be um, really kind of like, I feel like it's you committing to just, um, you know, a purpose. Let's put it that way. 
Uh, with the strength card, you have the friendship card. Yeah, like I said, other people are going to see how strong you have been. Um, you know, you have that endurance card, which also has a guy wrestling a lion on it. And I really feel sometimes if we just don't give up on something, we find success. And that's kind of what this looks like to me. It looks like a breakthrough just because you've been persistent. And again, trust me, persistence is always rewarded. I promise you. Um, with the four swords, you have the choice card here. Uh, we were talking about a choice with that two of swords. So I feel like you have a decision. This is probably a decision that you've been hoping and praying for. Uh, let's see what we get with the two of swords. You have this innovation card. You're picking the new path regardless. Some of you could be picking a new person in love. You could be picking the new business, the new idea. I feel like you're picking what's fair. It's funny, that choice card is Mars and Libra. This card here is Aquarius. You have a lot of fire, air, air energy here. Four of swords, ace of swords, two of swords, nine of swords. You also have this to be fair card, which is Libra. So I feel for a lot of you that you're really weighing your options, but I feel like you're picking kind of like the new path, you know, especially with that um, innovation card. It really suggests that you're probably picking something new in your life. Uh, next in the area of, of what's coming in for you, you have the soulmates card and this, in, um, this to be fair card, just like I said, could be a Libra coming in for you. If you're looking for love Aries, could be a Libra, could also be a, a Leo as well, or could be any fire sign if you, you know, take how it resonates. But I feel for some of you, this is more balance. I'm also getting something here where it's like, I feel like you need to realize that you haven't like wasted anything. Um, and here's what I mean by that. It's like, if you recently lost a relationship, I feel like you need to realize that, yes, maybe you planted a lot of seeds and in, in that relationship, and maybe you feel like you um, wasted your time, but I don't think we ever truly waste our time. Maybe we feel like that. But again, I feel like those seeds are just gonna sprout somewhere else for you. So it's like, you know, I really like it's really <laughs> it's really kind of being pushed into my head that you didn't waste your time and this doesn't have to be love i feel for a small percentage of you you know maybe you feel like you wasted your time on business or things just aren't working out for you in business but for whatever reason i really feel like your guides and your you know i'm like i'm picking up on your guides really it's not even normally i would say like the universe but i don't feel like it's the universe i feel it's like people around you really want you to know that you haven't wasted your time um, whatever it is that you're doing, you are about to be rewarded. Look at this row, Aries. Are you kidding? You have the sun, the ace of swords, and the ten of cups. It's like true happiness, you know, coming in for you. So I feel for a lot of you that you will be experiencing true happiness with the ten of cups. Ten of cups is like fortune after difficulty. Uh, you know, good things coming in for you after a difficult period of time. So I feel that this is saying that there's just happiness coming in for you after a difficult period of time. I also feel that these are the seeds. It's kind of like, you know, these things have have existed in your imagination. I always say that those 10 cups are above their head and they are, you know, maybe those 10 cups don't really exist. And the point of the 10 of cups is that they're choosing to be happy. They still live in the real world. If you look at the rest of the card, it's just the real world. It's not that those 10 cups. Then you have the sun, the happiest, best card in the deck. So a lot of happiness, joy, um, you know, just good things coming in for you here with the sun. And you have the ace of swords, which is a victory, uh, success, abundance, you know, good things coming in for you. I feel there's been a sacrifice that's been made here as well. You know, what's interesting is I'm wondering if you have left something behind or like a person, because you see how this person's legs are like in a board or something. <laughs> I get this feeling that some of you could have chosen to make a sacrifice. Ace of Swords, there's this palm frond right here. And the palm fronds and the tarot represent a sacrifice. And then you have the olive branch on the other side, which represents abundance. Some of you, I feel, have maybe cut someone out of your life. For some of you, I'm wondering if this is a family member because it like just intuitively the way I feel is like I don't want to do it, but I also know like something is per, is stopping my abundance. Like if I put myself in your shoes, Aries, it's almost like I have to do this. <laughs> Uh, so I don't know. I feel like you feel good about it if, if that message is for you. Again, that's not going to be for all of you. Take it, take it, take it what resonates, leave the rest, right? Uh, it could also be love that you have sacrificed. Let's see. With the sun, you have the eccentricity card here. You have uh, one, two, two Aquarius cards showing up in this reading. So, you know, there's a lot of Aquarius energy over the next few years. I think we're entering into the age of Aquarius. And, you know, that Aquarius energy says that we have to all be our own little star. We have to stand out. We have to try new ideas. I keep encouraging uh, uh, people to think of third place ideas as well. Ideas that we just don't know exist, right? <laughs> I know that sounds confusing, but if you look at everything in the world, it's like this side, that side, right? And I'm not making a political statement here, but 
It's like maybe there's a third place that exists that isn't this side, that side. It's like pretty much every issue, every even good things are like this side, that side, right? Um, so it's like, is there a third place? Is there some idea you can come up with for your business or for your relationship or whatever that doesn't exist or hasn't been tried yet? Or, you know, is a mixture of two things, right? It's like, those are the best ideas. And, you know, people keep asking for examples. Just look at my YouTube channel, right? Go to my shorts. <laughs> There's a million ideas for you right there, right? So, you know, I keep telling people, it's like, I, I live this stuff. I do this, you know, as well. I practice what I preach. With the uh, Ace of Swords, you have this birth card here. Some of you could be having a uh, child. You have the Ten of Cups, this card, four, four wands as well. So uh, definitely could be the birth of something, like a ch actually a child. Uh, you have the Ace of Cups, good energy around this as well if you are having a child. Uh, if you're not having a child, and even actually, even if you are, I feel pretty much all of you Aries are kind of looking at birthing your ideas. And, you know, this has been a major theme for you for a very long time is that you uh, are like the only sign that gets these messages of like really kind of working things, you know, working on things. But for you, it's different because I see like for you, it's like you're working with clay. Like I feel like you're really kind of, you know, trying to refine something in your life. And uh, I think Taurus is the only other sign that gets a similar message, but not like this. <laughs> this is something very different. You've been working on this for a while and you're about to be rewarded, whatever it is. With the uh, Ten of Cups, you have this extremism card. Everybody's had this card. I would be careful of like rushing to judgment, Mars retrograde. I mean, just typical Mars retrograde rules, no rushing to judgment, no getting injured, uh, no overworking yourself. If you feel tired, take a break. If you feel like working, work. You know, again, Mars retrograde doesn't say don't do something. It just says when you're in the flow, do it. If you're not in the flow, don't do it. <laughs> no road rage, you know, none of that. Uh, in your last row, what are we doing? Uh, oh, um, messages from your future self. You have the ship card, it says direction and journey. You have this dolphin card, it says playfulness and cooperation. Teamwork definitely makes a dream work. I do think it's a good time during Mars Retrograde to try to be cooperative. That doesn't mean you have to, you know, kind of sacrifice all your beliefs or anything like that. But if you're, you know, dealing with any relationship at all, you know, friendships, lovers, uh, work relationships, you know, it could be a good time to work on kind of like your uh, negotiation skills, your leadership skills, all those things. Uh, and some of you could be traveling. I see travel in your future regardless is what I would say to you, just like Pisces. I mean, I think it's impossible for the most part uh, for you Aries uh, and Pisces, but you know, you're an Aries obviously, to not travel over the next 10 years. <laughs> uh, and you might be saying, I'm never leaving, <laughs> but trust me, you're probably gonna leave or travel at the very least at some point uh, over the next few years. You have the Four of Wands, the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Definitely could be a love offer coming in for you, for those of you that want love. Ace of Cups would be a true love offer. Um, I'm getting something about here on the sixth or six days, six weeks, six months. Again, I don't trust psychic timing at all uh, because to me, the universe doesn't wear a watch. Things happen when they're supposed to happen, but you know, it could be like six days, six weeks, six months, something like that, a person coming in for you. And uh, I feel like it's true love with the Ace of Cups, your emotions overflowing, very much equal give and take. I feel like you've dealt with people who have ulterior motives is what I'm getting in the past, or you have recently dealt with a person who had like hidden motives, you know, maybe you just, maybe they're always trying to get like one over on you or something like that. I don't know, I don't know what, how to explain that, but I think if that's for you, it makes sense. And I feel like what you're meeting is something more balanced. Uh, I also feel like all of you, great time for experimentation. I talk about it all the time because, again, if you want to get rich, if you want to be famous, if you want love, if you want anything, <laughs> happiness, then experimentation is the name of the game. I promise you, anyone who experiments is going to be successful. And uh, finally, you have the four wands marriage. Some of you that, uh, could be getting married or meeting a person that you're marrying. I really feel you're crossing a threshold here, though, where it's like you're never going back. It's almost like there's a new standard being set for your life here, Aries. Damn, that feels good. I'll tell you what, <laughs> I like that. It's like there's a new standard being set for your life. And I feel like there's no more kind of going back to the past. So love it. Uh, with the four wands, you have this impulsiveness card. I would like chill out with the impulsiveness. This isn't a bad card. There's actually a lucky horseshoe at the top of the card, but uh, Mars retrograde it is never a good time to just be impulsive. I think if you have those exciting moments where you feel very excited about an idea, for example, you know, grab onto that energy, kind of ride the lightning, but also try to capture the lightning in a bottle so you can uh, look at it for a hot second and make sure you're making the right decision. With the uh, Six of Pentacles, you have the Devotion card. Everyone's had this. Uh, I love this card. It's like there's a bird with a dead bird. So cute, right? So it's like, imagine being with a person who, you know, weeps over your grave, 
There, there it is, right there. So I feel like there's true love coming in for you. Could definitely be a Libra. You have a ton of Libra here. Uh, I would say at the very least, they probably have Libra on their chart. But again, it is a general reading. It could be any sign coming in for you. So there you go. With the Ace of Cups, you have this caution card. I would be careful of the past here is what I would say. I'd be careful of anything. Like this is very overwhelming, this card. Like look at it. There's like a bunch of animals on it bunch coming at you and this person has their hand up like stop <laughs> so I feel for some of you that in love you could have someone who's like trying to rush in and I would definitely um be careful of that energy uh with that card but other than that this is one hell of reading again I think the standard has been set there's like a new standard for your life and you're never going to go back to the old way so there you go uh, we're going to do three cards here I'm going to answer one question if you have a question feel free to pause this reading but here's the three cards uh, if you don't have a question, that's fine too. I'm going to put them all together at the end, kind of like a personalish reading. But feel free to pause now because I am going to read the cards right now. You have the Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. It's like something you thought was going to be a success didn't quite work out in the past. I feel like you are the, pa the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like someone else is the Ten of Swords. Uh, so I feel like a person in your life feels the Ten of Swords. It could be like an ending. Queen of Pentacles says you have the resources. I almost feel like I would be careful. Like, I'm, I'm not saying that we shouldn't help people in our life, but it's like, I, you know, I'm sure we've all experienced those people in life who it's just they're always down in the dumps and they just can't pull their own head out of their ass. There isn't a nice way to say it, right? And I would just be careful of someone like that because it's kind of popping into my head here that some of you could be dealing with a person who it's like they, they, they you know, they basically they can't tell the difference between their ass and their elbow right so i feel like some of you need to be careful of that for others i feel that you did have a difficult ending this to me says that there's going to be success after a difficult ending that you have experienced I kind of feel like you're done with something and again i also get something here about the seeds remember what i was saying it's like i feel like you need to realize that all was not lost like those are the words that are popping to my head i feel some of you have had a bunch of situations not just one thing this is like multiple losses that you've experienced over the years and i feel like all those kind of like seeds are coming back to sprout in your life that's what this reading looks like to me that's what it feels like honestly actually it doesn't look like that if i'm being honest but <laughs> it feels like that so and there is a lot of happiness here don't get me wrong so uh, love it, Aries. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you and definitely enjoy your week.